a car. The 2023 Bronco is a great pick if you're shopping for a compact SUV with genuine off-road capability. The Bronco can scamper across punishing terrain without breaking a sweat or worse, breaking down. And it's fairly comfortable and composed on paved roads. The Bronco gets up to speed swiftly, courtesy of an all-turbocharged engine lineup, and it offers hefty towing ability. This SUV also earns praise for its user-friendly infotainment system, comfy seats, and sizable cargo area, especially in four-door models. Better still, you can drop the Bronco's top and remove the doors for a truly open-air driving experience. On the downside, the Bronco's cabin materials are pretty cheap, and there is plenty of wind and road noise intrusion at cruising speeds, even with the interior all buttoned up. Awful gas mileage is another sore point. The 2023 Ford Bronco provides exceptional off-road capability with few of the expected on-road trade-offs. It isn't drawback-free, however, as evidenced by its poor gas mileage and noisy interior. Give the Bronco a look if you want an SUV that can off-road like a champ on the weekend but still handle family hauling duty on weekdays. Just know that you may have to wait a while to actually buy one due to sky-high demand. Ford adds the Heritage and Heritage Limited trims to the 2023 Bronco lineup, and these models are styled to resemble the original Bronco of the 1960s. Styling tweaks include plate upholstery, a white hardtop, a white grille, and white side stripes. Otherwise, there aren't any major differences between the 2022 and 2023 Bronco models. The 2023 Ford Bronco has a base MSRP of $32,295. That's rather high for the compact SUV class, but it is roughly on par with competitors like the Jeep Wrangler. The price climbs to around $44,300 for the mid-range Bronco Heritage trim, while the top-of-the-line Bronco Raptor rings in at a lofty $73,780. The interior of the 2023 Bronco leaves a good first impression. The cabin has a bold and rugged appearance, emphasized by an upright dashboard and numerous grab handles, and most interior surfaces are trimmed with hard, durable plastics. While far from fancy, these panels should hold up well against wear and tear. The controls are rubberized and water-resistant, as is the flooring and some trims which is handy when cleaning the interior after an off-road trek or driving with the roof and doors removed. However, it's not all good news. The cabin lets in a lot of tire, wind, and engine noise at higher speeds, which can be aggravating on longer road trips. Build quality seems subpar as well. For instance, the frameless windows tend to catch on the weather stripping, which causes them to shake when opening the door. Both of the Bronco's standard 8-inch and available 12-inch touchscreens have simple menu structures and large icons, making them easy to use on the go. They're accompanied by well-placed buttons and knobs for adjusting basic audio, climate, and vehicle settings. The gauge cluster is a bit unusual in that it pairs an 8-inch display with an analog speedometer. It works well for the most part, and it has helpful readouts like an inclinometer for off-roading but the digital tactometer is tough to decipher, and it isn't reconfigurable. The two-door Bronco has 22.4 cubic feet of cargo space behind its rear seats and 52.3 cubic feet with these seats folded. That's a fair amount of room for a compact SUV, and it's large enough for hauling carry-on luggage, as well as bulkier items like camping gear. The four-door Bronco is a superior hauler though, it boasts 35.6 cubic feet of space behind its rear seats and 77.6 cubic feet with the seats folded. The Bronco's tailgate swings out toward the passenger side of the vehicle, unlike a conventional SUV liftgate that raises and lowers. It's a neat design, though it does make it tougher to load and unload cargo in tight areas. Ford offers the 2023 Bronco with three engine options, a 300 horsepower, 2.3-liter turbocharged four-cylinder, a 330-horsepower, 2.7-liter twin-turbocharged V6, and a 418-horsepower, 3.0-liter twin-turbo V6. 
Each is mated to a 10-speed automatic transmission and four-wheel drive, though you can opt for a seven-speed manual transmission with the four-cylinder engine. The Turbo 4 puts down a surprising amount of punch for its low cylinder count, and it can hustle the Bronco around town and up to highway speeds in brisk fashion. Though it sounds a bit raspy under hard acceleration, it pairs nicely with both transmissions. The 10-speed automatic yields quick and smooth shifts. The manual transmission feels crisp and precise, and its clutch pedal is forgiving, making it a joy to row through each gear. All that said, the six-cylinder engines turn up the heat in a big way. The 2.7-liter engine provides stronger off-the-line acceleration, launching the Bronco from zero to 60 miles per hour in 6.5 seconds, and it enables quick passing maneuvers. Its extra torque is also a boon when pulling a heavy trailer. The 3.0-liter V6 is even punchier, but it has to contend with the added heft of the Raptor model. As a result, acceleration is about the same. The 2023 Bronco is one of the least efficient compact SUVs by far, but that's not surprising given its off-road capabilities. The Bronco gets an EPA-estimated 20 miles per gallon in the city and 21 miles per gallon on the highway with its four-cylinder engine, with both manual and automatic transmissions, while models with the 2.7-liter V6 return up to 1921st miles per gallon city-slash-highway. These estimates sink to around 16 to 18 miles per gallon in the city and 17 to 18 miles per gallon on the highway for models with larger wheel and tire combinations. The Bronco Raptor is the thirstiest of the bunch at just 15 to 16 miles per gallon city slash highway. The Bronco has decent driving dynamics for such an off-road capable SUV. The brakes provide adequate stopping power, the steering is quick and nicely weighted, and it tracks straight when cruising on the highway. However, frequent body motions can make the Bronco feel like a boat on rough seas at times, especially when cornering or braking hard, but it isn't exactly clumsy either. The independent front suspension keeps the body lean to tolerable levels when navigating twists and turns. Ride quality is more of a moving target. Depending on the body style, equipment, and tires, the Bronco's ride ranges from soft and floaty to firm and jittery. Regardless, you're apt to feel most bumps and dips in the pavement. Simply put, the Bronco is one of the best off-roaders on the market. Its independent front and solid axle rear suspension flexes marvelously over rough terrain, and its elevated ride height, plus multiple skid plates, allows the Bronco to scramble up and over obstacles without issue. Ground clearance ranges from 8.3 inches in base models to a massive 13.1 inches for Raptor models. The Bronco is available with just about every off-road upgrade that you can imagine, including locking differentials, oversized mud, and all-terrain tires, an intake snorkel, winch-ready bumpers, and an on-demand sway bar disconnect for improved articulation. Notably, all models come standard with various GOAT, goes over any terrain, modes that adjust the traction control system to best handle surfaces like sand, rocks, or mud. What do you think about our video on Ford Bronco? Don't forget to tell us in comment below.